uh, is pretty much just the opposite. The, spec, uh, the emission spectrum depends on how much, uh, how, how much energy you're providing the atoms to, to produce the light to begin with. Okay? Um, so how do you explain spectral lines? You explain spectral lines. This, is pro this explanation was provided by Niels Bohr, a Danish physicist. So he explained spectral lines as follows. He says, energy of the atoms and molecules is quantized. And what do we mean by quantized? They cannot just have any amount of energy. There's a restriction in the amount of energy, right? Now, if an atom or molecule absorbs light, okay, one requirement is that the photon energy, the energy of the photon of light, must correspond to a difference between allowed levels. In other words, let's say, uh, I don't have, <coughs> let's say I have a, an atom with this much energy, E2, right here. In order for light in order for the atom to gain energy, the next higher energy, let's say, allowed is E3, okay? In order to, for it to go from E2 to E3, the light that must come in, the photon energy must be equal to E3 minus E2, okay? If that energy doesn't correspond to E3 minus, let's, let's say it's only, it only gives you this much, then it's not going to be absorbed, okay? In other words, atoms and molecules, you can think of them as being picky. Either give me exactly what I want, or I'm not taking it at all. Okay? So it has to correspond to an allowed energy difference, uh, a dif allow, uh, the difference between allowed energy levels of the atom or molecule. So H nu, the energy of the photon, must equal to delta E. So this equation right here, this is known as the Bohr frequency condition. Okay, now if an atom were to generate light, or a molecule were to emit light, again, the same thing. It, let's say it went from E3 to E2, okay? Then the light that it produces, the, freak, the photon energy, the photon that's released when it drops from E3 to E2 must correspond to the difference between E3 and E2. Okay? So if it loses an energy equal to E3 minus E2, then that would correspond to the photon energy. Okay? So that means if my, it's like saying if my bank balance drops from $250 to $100, that means $50 must have left. And so that has to be carried away by the photon. Okay? Now, light that's emitted by photon, like I said, must be equal to the difference between allowed energy levels. Light that's absorbed must correspond to the difference between allowed energy levels. Now, since not every energy level is allowed, you don't expect to see every kind of photon. Every, you don't expect to see every possible wavelength. So you just see those characteristic spectral lines that depends on what the atom or the molecule is. Okay? Because of quantization and because the quantization, the le allowed levels are different for different atoms and different molecules, they all get different spectra. And, but because of quantization, you cannot just get any color of light from it, from a particular atom or molecule. It's only certain colors that an atom produces, okay, or a molecule.